Hi, Leos. This is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Kathy Mamelin Psychic Medium. Welcome to a timeless love reading for my singles. This is for my Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and any cross watcher. Welcome, everybody. Let's see what's coming for you in love, what spirit has for you, any clues, any energy around you. You can use this to manifest the love that you are worthy and deserving of or to confirm a love that's come into your life. Spirit, please share with me any messages that you have today from my Leos. What do you want them to hear? I am listening for you now. Let's see what we have. I have it safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. It's safe for you to love again. Beautiful. Get that energy out there. Make some changes. Meet some new people. Let's see what else they have. I have an attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully, being yourself. That just feels like you putting out your energy, you know, your vibration being very high. You know, somebody's attracted to you. You stand out in a crowd, spirit just said. I, li I like that. Um you know, this feeling of you stand out, you know, just uh, something about you that that somebody picks up on releasing an X. It's time to clear that energy. We're always working on that. Get rid of that old energy. It's not serving you anymore. And love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Yeah. You, you know, people can tell when other people are genuinely happy. There's almost like this presence about them. There's an aura. There's their natural energy. There's a natural glow. Um, but you're standing out. You know, someone's taking notice of you. Um, and that is that is what is why they're attracted to you. You know, they've noticed you. You've stood out in the crowd, something along those lines. Uh, welcome back, everybody. Welcome to anybody new. Please remember to hit that like button, hit that comment button or comment. Uh, claim this reading. If there's anything about uh, my time, my energy, my gift that you like, uh, hit that like button so that I can continue to create content for all of you as often as I can. Spirit, please share with me. I love this feeling of you stand out. You're a Leo. <laughs> of course you do. I have a 10 of wands. I have the moon. I have a nine of swords. And I have a princess of wands. I want you to overcome any, any self-doubt, even if it's been a long road, even if you've been alone for a while and you've been doing all the right things, but it just hasn't been working out with, the, with, with different people for whatever reason. I, I feel like you are on the right path. I do feel like you are on the right, um, you know, you're, you're headed in the right direction. I just feel like the timing hasn't come to you yet. I, I feel like it just hasn't um it just hasn't been in alignment just yet so it could be maybe we'll get some evidence on that today but um i don't want you to worry about you know that i'm not where i want to be something like that and i want you to just focus on you know what you see ahead um ten of swords making some changes if you've had a big change in your life if you've had to um you know, let somebody go, release something from your life. You could be just at a place in time where you are doing some healing, that you need to be alone. And then when you recover from that energy, that is when spirit brings somebody new. So if you've already gone through that, then you could be at the right place at the right time to bring in the new energy. But it was almost as if I had to put you on hold um, in order for you to see clearly or find yourself again or um, get back that self-esteem and self-respect and loving yourself higher than anything else so that somebody does take notice of you and that you do stand out. So it does feel like you have lifted yourself up. So if the person hasn't come into your life yet, I, I would just say it's a matter of time. I'm going to pull some time cards for you today. I have a four of cups, the waiting, <laughs> waiting patiently. You're, look at the magician. I have a magician coming in. I have a five of swords. I'm going to say that the struggle is over, the battle is over, the wait is over, something along those lines. Spirit, share with me about this magician because that is, that's coming into me as a very powerful energy that might kind of blow me away a little bit. Six of swords. Yeah, it's after you've moved on. Five of Pentacles. There's a lot 
there's a lot of recovery. I'm going to use that word, okay? Whether it's healing, rebuilding, um, sacrificing, changes in your life, starting over, however we want to say it. But I do feel like it's because spirit has somebody. Bottom of my deck, look at this. King, King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. These are beautiful. Um, King of Swords and High Priestess. Bottom of my deck. Plus a Magician. So I feel like spirit's bringing you in, in this strong energy that you feel very connected to, that you uh, very much a feeling of it was worth the way. This is somebody I can, I feel strong about. I feel secure with. This is somebody who has a lot to offer is how the magician is coming into me, that they have a lot of different qualities, you know, whether it's their personality um, their financial stability, they're a hard worker, they're a good person, um, you know, whatever it is that you love about them, but they have a lot to offer. And I like the feeling of that they are independent even, and that they are very secure when they come into your life. This is not somebody that, yeah, you know, bottom of my deck, I have a queen of pentacles too. So you're secure, you're independent, and they're secure and they're independent. So whatever those changes were, I'm going to say it made you a stronger person. It made you a better person. It put you where you are at this place in your life. And, you know, you're exactly where you're supposed to be to invite this kind of matching energy. So you stand out. They take notice of you. I've got this strong energy. Spirit, give me a timeline, please. When for my Leo. Next full moon. I like the stars aligning. I like that. I have summertime energy. I also like the sunflower, kind of this, uh, you know, the sun energy with this new beginning. So it could be a new beginning. I have this month and I have July. So fireworks, sparks, summertime energy. You could meet this person anytime within this month, you know, heading into the summer, which doesn't sound unrealistic to me it doesn't sound too bad you know if this person comes in this month and you've been waiting uh you know what i think it's great but i also like the um i also like the sparks you know the sparks are flying and this is a new you know a new start a start of something new you know and that is i also like that energy so new love coming in and um, just confirming a love that that's come in, you know, something along those lines. Let's see what their personality is going to be. Let's see. Uh, they're curious. They want to get to know you. You stood out. You stood out in the crowd. You, they noticed you right away, whether they meet you in a, in a public place, like, you know, I'm out with my friends and we met or they were introduced to you, you know, like you just stood out to them detoxing, getting over something or someone else, not necessarily um, drugs or alcohol or anything like that. It was like, I got to just, you know, clear the energy of, of the old, you know, so that I can be able to receive this new. I feel graceful. I feel grateful. Um, there's a sense of gratitude coming into me with this person. Musical, uh, could be a musician or just loves music or we have the same musical um, taste, something along that way. Or they're one of those people that always has the radio going, <laughs> you know, like they always have music going. You know, some people are music people and other people are like TV people. Um, motivated. They're motivated. They're, they're strong. They are secure in their own life. So whether this is motivation for their career, get things done, goals, ambition, um, they're not they're not holding back. Spirit said they're very hopeful about this connection. They have a healing quality. I love to listen. I want to know what you're thinking. I want to know what you're feeling. I care about your feelings just came into me. So healing quality focused, focused on you, like all eyes on you, <laughs> you know, like I just feel like that deep, um, I guess a deep eye contact, you know, there's some kind of like 
deep eye gate, you know, um, I'm going to say con contact, you know, when I first saw your eyes, something like that. Very independent. I feel like that is important to you that I don't want to take care of somebody. I'm not looking to be somebody's mother, or somebody's father. I, I'm looking to have somebody come into my life that, you know, they can stand on their own two feet and they're they're strong, they're independent, they're emotionally secure, spirit just said. Like those things are very important to my Leo. So let's see what sign they are. What sign could they be, spirit? They could be a Pisces, a Taurus, Libra, Aquarius. Let's get a couple more. They could be a Cancer or a Capricorn. So those are all beautiful signs. We'll keep our eyes open for that. Tell me more about this connection. Use this reading as a manifestation. If it hasn't come into your life, just take you know, a few moments to manifest someone coming towards you and claiming it and it's yours. Let's see what else they're saying. Appreciation. Oh, somebody who appreciates you. Wouldn't that be nice? En embrace the sweet and anticipation of love's arrival in your life. How about anticipate the love, of the, the, the arrival of your life, right? Anticipate somebody good coming into your life. Like, I'm on the right path to find this person. So it is, it does feel like it's just a matter of time. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fall back on that till the sparks are flying. After a heartbreak, a heartbreak is part of the human experience. It will pass. Sometimes spirit just wants us to heal first, you know, and then when you're ready and you are open to be in another relationship, then that relationship's energy comes towards you. Falling fast, love happens quickly, but don't lose yourself in the process. So we're going to fall fast. I like that. Okay, so I'll take that when it does come and that we are falling fast. Okay, and then charisma. Love flows to you. You radiate charisma and charm. Right from the beginning, they said you stand out. Right from the beginning, they're attracted to you. So it is a feeling of, you know what, whether it's love at first sight or I just had this instant feeling I wanted to spend time with you, I want to get to know you, but obviously they're attracted to you in every which way and Leah's are very attractive and they do have that, they do have that natural energy to to draw, uh, draw attention to themselves. So, um, but I love this feeling of falling, falling fast for you. Um, I think that's important and and I love this sense of a, you know, charming. Is this my, is this like my Prince Charming? Is this my Knight of Cups coming in? Spirit, what is this energy? Please share with me. What do you have? I have a Nine of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. There's the sense of you're independent, I'm independent. You know, if you are looking for somebody that's your equal, whether it's education, status, careers, um, you know, experiences, life experiences, I feel like that's what spirit's bringing you. Somebody that truly is at the same level as you. Page of Swords, I want to get to know you. I have a lot of questions for you. I can't wait. And after a heartache, yeah. So whether it's your heart broken, their heart broken. Um, I, I like the energy of this sense of security, you know, that we're both entering into this connection as, you know, grown adults. We both know what we want. We both know what we're looking for. And we both have something to offer each other, you know, so it's a very balanced, um, you know, you're a catch and they're a catch. Let's put it that way. Okay. I have a king of swords, honest and truthful. Five of Pentacles, putting some things behind us is how that came into me, coming out of some hard times. So somebody who would start over, you know, I got a divorce and I had to rebuild my life. I bought a new home. I moved, you know, like that kind of energy. So whether it's on your side or their side, but it is a feeling of starting over. This person's very giving. I like the, the very, the, I know what I want energy. And I also like the inner knowing energy. I also know that I can feel that this feels like we're meant to be together. So 
that is important to know. So listen to your own inner voice. If your inner voice is saying, this feels good. I feel strong in this connection. I feel secure in this connection. I feel like we're both going, there's my beautiful son. We're both going to work at this connection and I don't want to give up. And I also like the fast moving energy of this eight, eight of wands coming towards me, whether it's they come into your life very quickly or we fall in love very quickly. So we're falling very fast. Spirit, please share with me this new beginning. I liked the you stand out. Somebody notices you <laughs> right from the beginning. Um, so uh, I'm going to say, I mean, I, I do want to put it in the category of, you know, whether it's love at first sight when first time our eyes meet you know I, I do want to say that there's that first impression <laughs> that um I guess you know wows them you know there's a sense of you know a, a wow here you know I, I want the wow factor I think that's fun I love you I'm gonna fall in love with you how about that shooting stars um, I want to have a baby. I want to have a family. How about I want it all? I want it all with you. I want a home. I want a, a family. I want to start a family. I want a future. You've got my heart. I always like that. I always like it's so simple, but you don't fall in love with everyone. Spirit can put a lot of different people in front of you. You might like them and care for them, but not everybody you capture their heart and they capture your heart. You know, a lot of times you hold on to your heart and you're not ready to give your heart. You're not ready to, you know, reveal your feelings or you just don't feel like it's the person you want to be with for whatever reason. But when they capture your heart, that's when you know, like there's no going back. I feel like there's no going back. Um, you have it all. Why do you want me? little bit of insecurity there, a little bit of a feeling of, um, you're too good to be true or you're you're the best thing I've ever hoped for. Like you check all the boxes for them. I mean, you stood out in a crowd, like from the moment that they saw you, they knew that you were somebody special. So they could be a little insecure. I see butterflies when we're together. I was made to love you. Oh, I like that too. You know, there's this <laughs> feeling like we're, I want to say for each other. I don't, I don't feel like it's one way. I feel like, it was um, it's such a it's such a mutual and balanced relationship to me. I feel like you both have so much to offer each other. And that's what is working in this connection. It's that you are each other's equals. You it's not like one person is going to um, be able to give more in this connection than the other. It just really feels like it's going to be you've met your match. You know, that's, that's really how I feel. You are my light. You are my light in the dark. I want to marry you one day. Oh, let's put that out into the universe. For those of you that want a committed relationship, you know, is spirit letting you know that, you know, it's your turn, it's your time. I'm going to say yes. I'm going to put this out into the universe, especially for my singles that are waiting for a deep commitment. If you want a deep commitment, if you want sparks, if you want somebody who falls, you know, we fall for each other, you know, pretty much right out of the gate. It's and, and we can have it all someday. I, I want you to claim that. I want this to be yours. I, I think this is going to be a beautiful match, you know, literally a match made in heaven. Let's let's put this out into the universe. I want to thank Spirit for this reading today. If you're new to my channel, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you for your comments. Uh, thank you to my Kathy's Angels for supporting my channel. Um, I hope you enjoy your weekly in-depth um, forecasts. And if anyone would like to book a private reading with me, please go to my website, kathymamelinpsychicmedium.com.